Hi, I'm Matthew Dalitz from the Science of Psychotherapy, and I'd like to share with you a little conversation that I had with Richard Hill and Terry Marks Tarlow on Terry's private practice. Check it out. I'm sort of getting a sense. Uh, what's coming to my head is we're talking about that we have mental sense, we have felt sense as well, and then we just have experiential practical sense. In, in your therapy room, do you co combine ha all these things? What's some of your ways in which you combine all these things in your therapeutic practice? Well, I, you know, by, um, by using the umbrella of clinical intuition at this point, by really um, believing that that is the moment to moment thing that we use that, mirror, that, that marries uh, theory and practice, um, I guess it used to be called eclectic, but it's not even that. It's really, it's so much broader than being eclectic because it's not even about just pulling from different theories. It's pulling from everything. It's pulling from uh, whether one minute I'm telling a story about, um, you know, my own early life or I'm uh, whatever, whatever the, the nuance of, of how I respond. Um, it, I think it's the whole universe that I'm pulling from in mm. that. And if I'm really on, it's going to be brand new from moment to moment. I'm really into um, the, the sort of flow of, um, of a session and, and, and making it new. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a, I'm left-handed and uh, I just read um Conan Goldberg's book on creativity, where he he says that the difference between left left branded left handed people and right handed people one big difference is that is the appetite for novelty, and I have this really high appetite for novelty, and that includes in my work, and so um, even if I'm working with a like say a depressed person who's stuck and who wants to say the same thing session after session, I'm going to find a way of making it new. I'm going to find a way to uh, um, some tiny little entry point of of going in there that I've never done before because I can't stand repetition myself. I, I can't stand to give the same lecture twice, and I can't stand to feel. Um, the, uh, the staleness of, of repetition. So um, I guess I, I, I'm not sure I'm really answering your question. No, 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 it's beautiful because one of the things, it's testing to do that. I, I actually had a student who, who came to me one, uh, after a little bit and I was talking about this creative stuff and Erickson was talking about this and Ernie Rossi's been talking about it, you've been talking about it um, beautifully. And he said, Richard, I just don't know whether I have the courage and I think you're saying the courage to trust my own capacity that my creativity is of value. So he was really talking oh, about his insecurities. Wow. But wasn't that interesting? And a therapist yeah. will go, I know that my heart is telling me to do this, but I'm just going to do an ordinary therapy. A bit like that guy in the Matrix who, who was the traitor and said, I know I'm going to go back and it's not going to be a real stake, mm -hmm. but it's so much easier. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want to know more about the science of psychotherapy, come across to our website, thescienceofpsychotherapy.com, and our podcast of the same name, and learn more about the science of you.